Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Neighborhood Realty and I'm about to show you 205 Joffrey. Very excited. We're in the High Park, uh, Roncesvilles neighborhood and this is a very neat opportunity. It's been in the same family for generations and uh, it's got a really unique footprint, lots of retained character and it's definitely for someone who's looking for uh, a project but you can see the beautiful brickwork and you can see even the unique uh, front entry and uh, you know the brick see so you can see the front the brick bay window and what's really nice is that you got this whole full private drive so this is a 35 by 125 foot lot and uh, in this neighborhood 35 is a big big deal because it allows you to have that private drive most are laneway access actually uh, so it's kind of nice that private drive fits lots of cars and again right away this is so nice this vestibule how great is this charm and character and i say it's a unique opportunity i mean it it is it's a different floor plan it was clearly built big quality when it was built uh you know 120 years ago 110 years ago even this door is very wide these coved ceilings you can see it's got a front hall uh closet and uh, i love all these french windows and uh, you know even the, the the shape of the staircase is very unique you can see the leaded windows up here that are extraordinarily pretty uh, there's a lot of natural light in this house so you get that benefit right away and uh, you know it's, it's obviously a nice project there are people in demand here looking for something like this that's you know bare bones and ready to sort of be uh, a new family masterpiece and somebody's going to enjoy it for generations just like these people have. These are uh, pocket doors, big principal rooms, really wide, nice feel. So just as, a, as an FYI, we're in the neighborhood. So we're half a block from High Park, the kids' playground, you know, dog off-leash trails. We're, uh, you know, two blocks from Roncesvalles, bustling, bustling Roncesvalles and all the independent shops and restaurants. And, uh, you know, we're in the Howard School District. Very desirable. This is actually the entrance to the basement, lower level. Here we are in the kitchen. Really nice ceiling height here. That definitely wouldn't need to be changed. And there's gas coming in, so that's great. And you can see there's a walkout to the backyard and these big windows. And all through the second and third floor, there's tons of windows. So this is a, you know, I mean, five-bedroom home. And, and with this separate back entrance to the lower level you could definitely create uh you know a, an income suite or maybe a nanny suite or in-law suite or something like that and again this 35 foot lot means a big huge yard you know it's just it's bursting with potential and such a cool such a cool house i have to tell you it's got a real good feel even if it is partially finished par partially undone it's neat it's even got this butler pantry you know whoever the architect and designers are going to be, they're going to be able to take a lot of inspiration from the shapes of the trim and the character and the doors and, and all that kind of stuff. So here's another separate entrance to the back. And, uh, you know, there's lots of unique sort of areas here. So otherwise, I mean, people probably know the area really well. Ronsi's is super popular. But what makes it popular is that it's very warm, friendly. It's very walkable, you know, the subway and, and down to the lake and Martin Goodman Trail. And, uh, you know, you're near the Dundas West subway station, which also has the UP Express to the airport and to downtown to see a Leaf game or, you know, all kinds of options. It's, uh, it's pretty special. So check it out. It really is. It's a dream for uh, those ready to take on a nice big project. It's going to be a beauty at the end of the day. Just about to show you 205 Joffrey on the second and third floors. And I chose this sp spot specifically to show you those gorgeous windows. So there's a lot of charm and character. It's obviously a nice big project, but you know, somebody might want to uh, keep some of the period details. I love these coved ceilings. Those are leaded glass windows. It looks like you're practically in a church or uh, you know, a much larger building. So it's really neat. I love this staircase. Some of the dental moldings, uh, you know, it, it's also going to inspire uh, you know, designers and architects and that to, you know, even if it's newer materials that they use, they can sort of get inspired by seeing some of the period look that this house has retained. It's quite extraordinary to be able to find a project like this and make it your, you know, home and uh, your own sort of period 
masterpiece and lots of charming character. Look at this massive window, uh, you know, overlooking Joffrey Street. Literally half a block down there is High Park, you know, the off-leash dog area, the zoo if you're a runner, jogger, walker. Uh, it's fantastic and, uh, you know, all that green space is good for your health. And of course, you know, you walk the other way a couple blocks and you get to see to uh, be right on Roncesvalles and all the shops and all that kind of stuff. And of course, one of the bonuses is that this school district is very, very desirable and you're in the Howard School District. So that's kind of cool. Now there's lots of nooks and crannies and lots of hidden rooms and stuff. It's kind of fun. There's those cove, uh, you know, doorways and stuff again. And here we are looking at the south facing. I'm not gonna open it because it's not sort of maybe safety proof, but how great is that? You get so much natural light in here and that big lot, private drive, double garage, so much potential, it's quite amazing. And of course, since it's actually, some of it's been actually removed, nice high ceilings, and you can see some of the old uh, knob and tube, some of the character, it's kind of cool. I love some of the, you know, so again, it's gonna inspire uh, the new owners to really do some really neat uh, building. So then we go up, onto the third floor and I will tell you this third floor, some of the houses around here are really truly two and a half. That's a different model. This is actually a really rare floor plan and footprint and it's, it's almost third, like a full third story. So which means it's much easier to do some building and to make some really dramatic space up here, maybe a master suite, you know, nice big windows. Some of the windows have actually been replaced but you can have big closet space, sitting area, maybe a home office, and of course, a beautiful ensuite as well. So check out the other videos and uh, come and see it for yourself. I'm about to show you the lower level of 205 Joffrey and it's unfinished, so lots of storage, but I wanted to show you this. So it's off the kitchen, there's actually two entrances. So this is from inside the house, but again, um, it's kind of, one of the benefits is that it's got that back entrance. So if you wanted to make this a separate suite, an Annie suite or what have you, when you're finishing and re renovating the house, you get this whole big, huge basement and it's got brick walls. So if you wanted to expose the walls, uh, there's lots of potential for character and charm that way too. This is the separate back entrance. So that's from the garden and the garage and all that kind of stuff. And it's got good ceiling height down here. So it's, uh, it's not bad. It's full and and uh, and here you are in the, the Near the boiler. So of course all these older houses they have boilers which actually is better kind of heat It's all good and now you get to see it all so they did quite a nice job with Refinishing some of these walls. So uh, come and check out the house. It's worth it uh, If you're up for a project, this is a pretty special opportunity